I'll be honest, this book and tea box from Sip Spy is kind of why I finally got inspired to start my YouTube channel because I really wanted to do this with you guys. To clarify, this video is not sponsored by Sipspy. I just genuinely love the brand. So they're a small business tea brand and I actually found them about four or five years ago. You can get like customized tea boxes delivered to your house once a month and I did that for a long time and I found so many new brands of tea that I like. And then back in 2020, they made this holiday tea box. So they put a book and then four teas that went with the book in the box. My husband bought it for me as a Christmas present and then I saved it. In the beginning of last year, 2021, I did it and it was so much fun. So the book was Jingle All the Way by Debbie McComer. Now this is a Christmas book, but it also has her go on a cruise through the Amazon. So the teas in the box, some of them were holiday Christmas teas and then some of them were tropical teas. And I'm just all about that kind of thing. So to drink the tea that was paired with the book while he read the book was such a good experience. And I loved it so much that he actually bought me a second one for Christmas. And I again saved it. So that's what we're going to do in this vlog. We're going to try all the tea and read the book together. Now, both of these are still on Sip Spy's website. But today is December 9th and they're currently sold out. But I will still link them in case you come across this video in the future and you want to try and get it. But for now, let's open up take a look at the book and the teas I got this time. So I know the premise of this book is that Lindy goes through a bad breakup and she's just having a hard time. She's a graphic designer but she's feeling no creativity in her job so she goes home and she's just not in the Christmas spirit at all so her mom suggests that she reads through letters she wrote to Santa as a child and it inspires Lindy to write a letter to Santa as an adult and it's supposed to be like a letter of gratitude but she finds that her wishes will start to unfold before her in miraculous ways and it says and thanks to some fate fateful twists of Christmas magic and especially an unexpected connection with a handsome former classmate she will ultimately real realize that there is no place like home for the holidays. So we got a little off track. I actually introed the vlog back on Friday thinking I would start it Saturday after work. That did not happen in case you guys are wondering. It is actually now Tuesday. Things just got really busy but it is 2.30 on Tuesday. I switched my schedule around to try and get done with work a little bit earlier, and I clearly did. So I am making the first tea. It is an apple strudel oolong tea, and I am putting it in this also from Set Spy super cute Christmas tree like tea steeper or tea infuser. So we're gonna make some tea in my Santa Paws mug I found at Home Goods a couple years ago and start the Dear Santa book. And I will give you guys an update in a little bit with how I like the tea and how I like the book. And we'll make sure we try the other three teas in like the next 24-ish hours. Because I want to just read this book and experience the whole thing quickly, not let it drag on. So I'm about 50 pages into the book. Side note, I had to take the cover off. I cannot read the book with the paper cover. But one thing I really like about Debbie McComber's books is they're very readable. Like they're very similar to Hallmark books, totally easy to follow along, but it still does have a plot. So in this one, her boyfriend did her dirty. It was a bad breakup. And so she comes home and her mom was like, hey, I actually found these letters that you used to write to Santa. Why don't you read them and just see like how they make you feel? And when she reads back through them, she realizes that everything that she asked for, she got. And she asked for some like pretty outlandish things and they happened. I'm trying not to give anything away. So her mom says, why don't you write a letter to Santa now? Kind of more of like a healing process from the pain that she went through. So that's what she's done. And then she's reconnected with an old friend. And it's just a lot of like little things that I would expect to happen if you go home after a break. I'll go home to like the town you grew up in. So very easy to read. I liked the apple strudel oolong tea. It tasted kind of reminiscent of apple pie, which I'm assuming is what it's supposed to taste like. So I'm going to take a break from this book, but we'll make some more tea and keep reading, reading in it later tonight. Good morning. So I have a morning routine that I follow 
pretty strictly unless I'm trying to get a bunch of books in or filming a vlog because then I just throw that out the window. So this morning we're throwing it out the window and I'm making a cup of tea to read my book. So the one I'm making this morning I already know that I love. It's the Christmas tea from Davidson's Tea. It's high caffeine which is why I wanted to save it for the morning but it really is just this perfect like oh it smells so good. It's like a spicy cinnamon clove type tea. So I'm going to pour a cup of that and read in my book and I honestly might go ahead and do a second cup of tea in a little bit. But anyways, this is not a bad choice at all. The Christmas tree is up. It's a cozy morning. I've got some work meetings this morning so it'll be a nice way to kick off the day before I have to do that. And I'm obsessed with this little Santa Paws mug. Okay, so I'm a pretty big planner, I should say that, but in this book, her friend calls her and is like, hey, a bunch of us are getting together tonight. Do you want to come over? And um, and they're doing like a food scavenger hunt, and the main character, Lindy, goes, what's that? And she goes, don't worry about it, just show up at six. And Lindy says, do I need to bring anything? And then the friend says, other than yourself, a bottle of wine and a white elephant gift, not a darn thing. And to me, like to say you don't need to bring a darn thing means like just show up. But having to get wine and a white elephant gift is not nothing. Like I, if I was told I had to go to a party tonight and bring a white elephant gift, I would think about it all day. And it just goes to show people are so different. I would need like 72 hours warning that I had to do a white elephant gift. Anyways, we're going to go back to reading. Welcome to another pajama fit because apparently I'm just doing this entire vlog in the early morning and that's totally fine. I thought I was going to finish the book yesterday and I didn't, but I have nothing going on today so I can just stay on the couch, snuggle up, and read the whole thing. So I brewed the Hope Vanilla Tea and I'm going to put on an ASMR video, but I do have one more tea called Christmas Morning that sounds absolutely delicious. So I want to keep my eye on the book and when I have maybe like the last 20 to 30 pages, I want to put it down and brew that cup of tea to make sure we try all the teas that came with the book while reading the book. So let's go to the couch and get cozy. I 
I really like when books have a very realistic scene, especially when it relates to kids. I've heard a lot of people talk about how children written in books sometimes don't really seem like children in real life. But this, to me, I can totally picture. So her nephew comes over. He's like four years old, I think. And he's opened presents at home. And now he's over at Grandma's house to see Grandma, Grandpa, and his aunt. And there are more presents under the tree for him. And so he's fighting his nap and he is putting the tree and telling his Aunt Lindy, I want more presents. And she says, take your nap first, then we'll open all the gifts, okay? And then it says, asking was a mistake. And then the child says, no, I wanna open them now. And like, that is so true. I work with children and I learned very quickly that when you ask things as a question, uh, you're giving them the opportunity to say no. <laughs> so, like, what child is going to be like, yeah, you know what, I actually do want to take a nap, forget the presents. So I just like that that's like a very realistic conversation that would happen with the little kid on Christmas morning, and it just makes the whole scene be a little bit more believable. Also, I'm going next week to spend Christmas with my nephew, who's only a year old, uh, but it's making me excited for mornings like this in a couple of years, and I think that's helping me connect to this scene a little bit more, too. I'm really excited for this last tea, because it's got cocoa nibs and mint in it, so I think it's gonna be like a peppermint bark tea. Usually, I do prefer like a cinnamon-based tea in the winter, but at Christmas time, peppermint bark tea is one of my favorite teas. I also have a lavender mint one for sleep that's called Christmas in Paris, and so I feel like this is going to be a little bit reminiscent of both of those teas, and I'm really excited for it. I've got the last 40 pages in the book. Let's go finish. Okay, so I finished Dear Santa by Debbie McComer, and although it wasn't a terrible experience, I would not recommend this book. Just because I've read other books by her and I have loved them, but this one, just, it was a little too cheesy, and I think it would make a great Hallmark movie, but I think the actors would really have to be able to go from cheesy to like actually enjoyable to watch. Like for one instance, when she was um, coming back to tell him like, I want you. Uh, I feel like with good chemistry between actors, it could be a really beautiful scene, but reading it, I was like, it just came off kind of wrong. And the tea, although was good, I don't feel like connected with the book as well as the other ones. So side note, Jingle All the Way, I loved that one, so I highly recommend that book. And that book, the team made a lot more sense for the storyline. Like I mentioned, in that book, she goes to, I forget, but like the Bahamas are somewhere on a cruise, and one of the teas is tropical, and that made sense. This one, I felt like it was just a Christmas-themed book and some random Christmas teas, but they weren't particularly unique to the storyline. So overall, I don't think it's necessarily like a must-have gift. But it is a really cute idea because you could totally recreate this. You could get a book and then for someone that, you know, really likes tea or coffee, you could choose a couple that represent different things in the book and that would make a really thoughtful gift. So I'm glad that we got it in, but it's just like I wish I could relive the Jingle All The Way experience the first time. I probably started off with one that was way better and nothing will live up to it, but that's okay. Let me know if you read this book and I'll catch you in the next one.